Welcome to this structure how-to video on using transformations and perspectives. In this video, you'll learn how to organize and filter your existing structures to quickly focus on specific information and how to share the results with your team. Before you start, please make sure you've watched our video on dynamic hierarchies and automation, as we'll be building on many of the concepts explained there. Automation allows you to build and organize dynamic structures that you can share with others. Transformations allow you to temporarily apply the same operations as automation, but add them on top of an existing structure in a way that only you will be able to view. Before we start, it's important to note that transformations are disabled in the automation editing mode. Ensure automation editing is disabled before adding transformations. Now let's go over how to apply transformations. There are two ways to apply transformations. You can click the Transformations button and create a new transformation using the Transformations panel, or you can apply Quick Transformations by clicking the Quick Transformations button. Quick Transformations are the easiest to use, so we're going to start there. These are saved transformations that you will be able to enable quickly later. They are similar to Quick Filters for Agile, but with the added ability to group, sort, and extend. We include some predefined transformations with structure, but you have the ability to add more of them for each structure you build individually. For example, as we enable the Group by Assignee Quick Transformation, our stories are grouped accordingly, and the Transformations button becomes dark blue to indicate that there are some transformations that have been applied to this structure. All applied transformations can be viewed in the Transformation panel, which can be hidden, with the transformations still applied. Alternatively, you can remove all the currently applied transformations by closing the panel. If we enable several quick transformations, for example the Group by Assignee and Group by Status transformations, we can see that the grouping by status is done under the assignees. If you need to change the order in which the transformations are applied, Simply drag and drop the elements in the Transformations panel to rearrange them. By moving the Group by status before the Group by Assignee, you can see the order of the grouping changes in our structure. By using Automation Generator Types, you can also add transformations that aren't available in the Quick Transformations. Of course, the Insert Generator does not apply here. Let's add a new Filter Transformation. We can select from a number of different options, including the most common one, JQL. As we type in assignee equals Chewbacca, the filter automatically gets added to the transformation bar. If I close the transformations panel, it will be removed. To save it as a new quick transformation, recreate it and click Save. Be sure to give the filter a recognizable name and make any additional adjustments. To edit or remove a Quick Transformation, click the Edit button in the Quick Transformations panel and select Edit or Remove from the drop-down menu for the Quick Transformation you need. Once you're done editing, click the Edit button again to exit the editing mode. Please note, by default all Extend and Group Transformations have the option to make changes via Structure enabled, so you'll be able to drag and drop items between groups to change the field values or move them under New Parents to change links. If you don't want users to be able to change these values from structure, you'll need to edit the transformation and uncheck that option. There are two additional ways to apply transformations without using the Transformations panel or Quick Transformations. For example, a sort transformation can be applied by clicking the header of any column. The corresponding transformation will then appear in the Transformation panel. To change the sorting order, Click the header of the same column again. To remove this sorting, either remove the transformation from the transformation panel or click the summary column header. Click the search button to quickly apply a filter transformation. You can run a text, JQL or SJQL search and specify your query. This will create a transformation which can be saved as a quick transformation by clicking the save button. Once you've organized your structure with transformations, you may want to share it with others. By default, only you can see them. In order to share your newly organized structure, click the Share button in the top right corner. This will create a perspective, 
a snapshot of the current view of your current structure. You can share the perspective link via email or a message, or just save it as a bookmark to reload the structure in the same configuration later. By default, perspective links expire after 30 days if they are not used. That's it for this structure how-to video on transformations and perspectives. Thanks for watching and please be sure to check out our other structure how-to videos.